Wanna come back to the side Where well, movies were so scary A blood red light Where creatures of the night I wanna come back to the side And kiss the priest green queen I wanna come back to the night My horror night Welcome to the last video store I'm your host Bud Haddonfield And today is supposedly the first day of fall doesn't feel like fall. I'm out here in Louisiana and it's still hot as hell out here. But I figured it would be a good time to do my ranking of the Halloween franchise. 13 films, I've always been a fan, especially as a very young kid. Michael Myers was always the, one of the cooler slashers. Uh, so I would always watch those that had came out at that time as a, as a child, like I said. So these are definitely in a particular order. I'm a fan of the series, but there's some movies that are better than others, obviously, and this is my opinion. So if you don't agree with me, don't get mad. It's just what I think, okay? So here we go. Number 13 in the very bottom of the barrel, in my opinion, is going to be Halloween Ends. I fucking hate this movie. It's, uh, it's not good, and the only cool part that I liked about it was when the doctor and the assistant was getting killed because uh, that was Michael being Michael but the whole Corey sideline that really sucked uh, him and Lori's character's fight at the very end was very underwhelming uh, somebody who did pretty good for the 2018 and Halloween kills completely ruined this storyline this one uh, can't think of the name of the director offhand, David Gordon Green. Him and Danny McBride really fucked this one up. So yeah, that is my uh, least favorite and worst of the franchise in my opinion. Number 12 spot goes to Rob Zombie's H2, or Halloween 2. I like the first remake. It was pretty good. I got really excited for this one. And I went to theaters and I watched it. Excuse me. And I thought this movie was a big old piece of shit. <sighs> the Laura character played by Scout Compton Taylor was quite annoying. Uh, her constantly arguing with uh, Daniel Harris's character and being a shithead to Brad Dorf's character. And Loomis was a complete douchebag. So this one wasn't that great either. So number 12 spot, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Number 11, which is most people's bottom of the barrel itself, but Halloween Resurrection. This movie was bad, but it was a fun bad. A lot of people talk shit about Buster Rhymes as a Freddy character, Kung fu uh, Michael Myers, psh, psh, slay. Uh, <laughs> it was fun. It's, it's a movie that you can watch. It's not like, oh my God, it's so god awful. I fucking hate it, I can't do it. It's like, oh, it's bad. But look, look at that bad, look at this scene right here. Look at that shit. So, you get with a group of friends, or you just want to have a fun, cheesy night that you don't have to be serious for a short period of time, you know, you can watch this movie. Uh, yeah. Halloween Resurrection. They killed off Laurie Strode, which I wish they would have kept her killed off and not bring her back for uh, the continuation from 2018 onwards. But uh, this is the storyline that I like to stick to. This spot, number 11, goes to Halloween Resurrection. The number 10 spot goes to Halloween from 2018. This wasn't a bad movie. Uh, Michael Myers was a uh, very badass in this one and the one that continued, Halloween Kills. Uh, I wish they wouldn't have changed the storyline because Halloween H2O was a good solid movie. But uh, they decided to reboot it. I'm not going to hate on them for it. It's just in my opinion, you know, we, we could have did it without it. Or we could have did a continuation with a whole different character who, I guess, maybe the podcaster story that they were just following Michael Myers. And somehow he got out and now he's tracking them down. So I, I would have been down with that. But it's, it's not a bad movie. We got some good kills in it. Michael Myers, very menacing. I like the whole ordeal at the... Smith Grove, is, is that's what we call in this one, the little middle hospital, and uh, just his brutality of him killing uh, the people at the gas station, killing the podcasters, uh, the cops, the babysitter and her boyfriend. 
the little kid that was uh, the babysitter was babysitting. He's awesome. I wish we would have had more with him. That was a funny little dude. But yeah, number 10 spot, 2018 Halloween by David Gordon Green. Number nine, we're going to be continuing with Halloween Kills. A lot of people talk shit about this movie, but I actually liked it. Uh, Anthony Michael Hall, he didn't do too bad as uh, Little Tommy. I wish they would have got the original actor, or they would have gotten, uh, can't think of his goddamn name, Paul Rudd. I wish he would have came back for it. But Anthony Michael Hall didn't do bad. Uh, the physicality and brutality of Michael Myers in this movie was extremely badass. Him just fucking killing because he's just an uh, evil being that thrives on murder, blood, and mayhem. This wasn't too bad at all. I actually like this one. Um, Karen, the daughter, played by Judy Greer. I, I can't stand her in that movie. She was just too bitchy and whiny and complaining. So I actually liked when they killed her off. I liked how they brought back uh, Marion... Chambers, I guess, was the nurse. And this is the second time she dies in this movie. And then the original actress that came back that played Lindsay Wallace in the first one. And uh, Charles Cypers, as the, the sheriff, came back as just a, a hospital security guard. I figured he'd be retired by now. But it, it's cool to see them all. It sucked that uh, Anthony, my, uh, Tommy and the sheriff, Lee Brackett's character, dies off. But it, it's, it's good to have a continuation with them. And it, it's good to have an aftermath, you know, whether it's 20, 30, 40 years later, that people are still going to live with the memory of one terrible night that happened a long time ago. And the way that they brought back Loomis's character with some of the archive footage or made-up archive footage, that was actually pretty good. So, number nine spot, Halloween Kills. Number eight spot is going to Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. This wasn't a bad movie. It was fun. Uh, it was a continuation of Halloween 4. Uh, I didn't like some of the, the choices that they picked out. Daniel Harris is actually a pretty good little actress and they wanted to keep her mute throughout the movie. So I guess, you know, she had to rely on her physical ability for physical acting and whatnot, but she, she did pretty good in it. Uh, some of the stuff was weird. I know a lot of people bitched about them killing off Rachel and adding that Tina character, which it, it really didn't matter to me because the movie's about little Rachel, not little uh, Jamie and Loomis and Michael. So it's, it's not too bad. I kind of felt bad for the little homeless dude, the little hermit that uh, took care of Michael. Michael just woke up and killed him. But again, it shows that this dude's an absolute psychotic monster. So... Following five. The number seven spot is going to Rob Zombie's Halloween. I was a huge Rob Zombie fan. Excuse me. House of a Thousand Corpses was one of my favorite movies uh, as, as a teenager. Devil's Rejects, it's a different story, but I still I still liked it. I liked Rob Zombie's direction and all the little nods he puts in and adding his, uh, his cast of characters in all of his movies. Of course, with other uh, horror icons from the past, and he did a really good job with Halloween. It doesn't age too well, but uh, the little dude Dave Forrest, when I was doing a podcast back in the day, I talked to this little motherfucker, and he was supposed to uh, do an interview with me, but uh, last minute he decided not to answer the phone like a little asshole. But uh, all is forgiven, all is well. But uh, Halloween is a. Uh, it's pretty cool. I liked the theatric cut way more than the director's cut because I don't ever like seeing nobody get raped in that one. That's not cool. Uh, but when we get some of the Devil's Reject characters that get killed off by Michael when he escapes, that's, that was pretty cool to see Bill Mosley, uh, Tom Tolles, Leslie Easterbrook. That was always fun. So, like I said, this spot is going to go to Rob Zombie's Halloween, but the theatrical cut fuck the director's cut. That's just me. That's my opinion. Don't get mad. That's how I feel. Number six. This is another one that's the bottom of the barrel on other people's list, and it's actually Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. I like this movie. This was the first one that I got to see in theaters. It launched the career of Paul Rudd. Uh, last time we get an actual Loomis, uh, well, Donald Pleasant's Loomis, in one of the Halloween movies. Uh... Cool story. The producer's cut wasn't too bad. But I like this movie. Maybe it's just some nostalgia, but uh, 
I thoroughly enjoyed it. Joe Chappelle didn't do too bad with it. And we got the return of, uh, he played Michael Myers in part four and he recently passed away. George P. Wilbur, he came back as Michael Myers for this one. But uh, yeah, Halloween Curse of Michael Myers, I dug it. The number five spot is gonna go to Halloween H2O, directed by Steve Miner. This was a pretty cool movie. It kind of goes by very quickly because like before you know it, uh, it's, it's in the final act. Uh, Kevin Williamson, I know he had something to do with it. Didn't he like write a, a piece of the script or something? Uh, that's, that's not important that does, but here's it here. But I wish John Carpenter would have come back to this. He was supposed to, but something ended up happening and they went with a different direction. But I would have loved to have seen John Carpenter's version of this movie. We had Jamie Lee Curtis, who's a very badass character. Uh, yes, she has her emotional scars and whatnot, but she's doing the best she can. Uh, hopefully never having to see the day that Michael Myers returns. But he does, and it's pretty cool, and I like this version much more than the David Gordon Green version. So now my number five spot is going to go to Halloween H2O. All right, number four is going to go to Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. I always loved this movie. This was the first time that I've seen a character die, a child character die in a movie. Uh, I think the second one was Prophecy when that little bear bitch slap that little kid in the fucking sleeping bag. This was pretty cool. This was a good movie. I know a lot of people like to talk shit about it. Uh, it was directed by Tommy Lee Wallace, who did the first adaptation of It. Uh, he did Fright Night 2, so I always liked him as a director. We get Tom Atkins. That's a fucking good time. People should have been satisfied with it, but no, they wanted to bitch and complain. Uh, but it wasn't bad. I know John Carpenter... And Deborah Hill returned to do the writing of this, uh, maybe the producer and whatnot. But I know they had something to do with this movie. But it would have been cool to see uh, different anthology type stories every year. But again, the people had to fucking run it. So, yep, number four is going to be Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. Number three is going to be Halloween 2. I really like this movie. I thought it was very badass. I liked it. It was directed by Rick Rosenthal. I don't think that's how you pronounce his last name. It came out a couple years after the first Halloween. I think this was 1982, if I'm not mistaken. 1981, so 1981. So three years later, uh, and this happens the same night as the night he came home. But it takes place in the hospital. I thought this one was really cool good characters, Jamie Lee Curtis, even though she wasn't really there a lot for the film, and she was pretty much just sedated with not until the very end, so I thought this was cool. It really heavily relied on Donald Pleasant's uh, Dr. Loomis. So uh, we get the, introdu the introduction of Michael and Laurie, your siblings. I don't know why they came up with that idea, but I, I like it. It wasn't bad. So, number three, Halloween 2. The number two spot is going to be Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Uh, pretty much introduced us all to Danielle Harris. She's playing the daughter of uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's characters, Laurie Strode. Laurie dies off. She didn't want to return to the Halloween movies uh, for now. So they got Danielle Harris to play this little orphan who's adopted, whose mom was adopted by the Strode family. And I think she, they have something to do with the Strode family, but it's, it's kind of complex. But it's not bad. Dwight Little directed this movie, and he recently did another one, Natty Knox with Danielle Harris. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but it's, it's supposed to be really good. But this one was a lot of fun. So, part four. And yes, you guessed it. My number one spot is going to go to the original. Halloween, John Carpenter, Deborah Hill, Jamie Lee Curtis, PJ Souls, Donald Pleasance. This is a really good movie. You had Nancy Loomis. She was good. She was good in the fog. Uh, she was in Halloween 3 as well, playing a whole different character, but she got to survive this time. But Halloween, kickstart, it was kind of rip off of Black Christmas uh, that got ripped off when they made Friday the 13th. So everything's kind of a rip off at this point. It, 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 it doesn't matter. But love this movie. 
love the trivia behind it, uh, the fact that they got uh, Captain Kirk with his goddamn name. William Shatner, masked uh, to, to be the, the mask of the shape. So it was pretty cool. Nick Castle, the original uh, Michael Myers, was the best to me in my opinion. So I really like this movie, spooky, great music, great ending. And could you imagine if they left this movie just one? Halloween, fucking bus out, kind of like uh, Town of the Dreaded Sundown, you have no idea where he's at, maybe he lives next door to you. That would've been pretty cool. So the first Halloween is my all time favorite. Thank you for tuning in to the last video store. Again, I'm your host, Bud Haddonfield. And we're doing our countdown to Halloween, uh, being that today was, in fact, the first day of uh, fall. It's fall, y'all. I just wanted to share my opinion of the uh, ranking of the Halloween series. Our next episode, we're going to be redoing a review of the 1985 made-for-TV movie. I think it's 1986. Uh, I, I fucked that up. With the Midnight Hour. So maybe we can do it in its entirety. Maybe we can just do it with some clips. But uh, YouTube likes to fuck me when it comes to copyrights and whatnot. So we're gonna see what we can get away with. But uh, thank you all, hope you enjoy, and please like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.